This is Worst Deaths Imaginable number 67. Viewer discretion is advised. Pictured here was the lovely Elizabeth Mary Isherwood of Wales, which is in the United Kingdom. In September of 2017, she was vacationing. She had gone to the city of Mackinlith, which is in Wales, and she was staying at the Place Tolgarth, if I'm saying that correctly, a popular holiday home. On the first night that Elizabeth checked in, other guests would report hearing banging noises coming from her room. Noises they would later say they thought was just maintenance. It wasn't. Now, I don't know what an airing cupboard is. To my knowledge, we don't have those in the United States unless they're called something different. So if someone from the United Kingdom sees this and can explain exactly what it is, I looked up images, I've seen things like this, possibly this, maybe something a little deeper than the last one, like this, but I don't know. So I don't have an accurate image of the room she was found in. But in the middle of the night, um, it's believed that she got up to use the restroom and had accidentally walked into the airing cupboard. Somehow the door closed and locked behind her. Now, it's believed that at first, Elizabeth began banging on the door, banging on the walls, in hopes that someone might hear her. She was also likely screaming for help. But no one came. No one responded. It is then believed that she began to try to claw her way out of the room, literally. It was a small room, apparently, and it had bricks on the walls, so I guess she was digging through that to try to make a hole. And she did this for likely 24 hours at least. And she actually did make a hole in the wall. And it's believed that she was a couple inches away from being able to, I guess, open the door. But during the process of her digging through the wall, she managed to burst a pipe that was inside the walls. When she did so, water would come spraying down from the ceiling and the walls. It's also important to note that she was not wearing any clothing and she had nothing in there to cover herself with and nothing to warm herself up. For at least the next couple of days, yes, she was constantly being rained on by freezing cold water and she continued to bang and scream, but again, no one came to her rescue. After a few days, maintenance finally went to the room because of the water leakage and the deceased body of Elizabeth was found. She had died of hypothermia. For a couple of days, she slowly froze to death. The family did sue, but I cannot find the outcome.